Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Israel Brief brought to you by Lay of the Land. I'm your host, Jolene Marks, bringing you today's top stories. Now, today's big story is the fact that we may be expecting a major announcement regarding the Golan Heights as soon as next week. So basically, unnamed sources in Washington and in Israel have revealed that it is possible that the U.S. will recognize Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights as soon as next week. Our Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is scheduled to visit the capital to visit U.S. President Donald Trump and uh, rumor has it that this announcement could be made round about then. Now yesterday Prime Minister Netanyahu met with U.S. Secretary of State Mark Pompeo and uh, as, as far as uh, what we know that came out of their meetings it was mentioned or a concern was expressed by the U.S. Secretary of State that Iran is possibly using the Golan Heights to stage attacks on Israel. Now if uh, the U.S. do recognize Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights this is a game changer and and uh, it certainly would impact or, or, or have uh, an impact on opinions around the world. Uh, moving more locally, and in a poll conducted by the Washington Post, it has been revealed that at least 73% of Israel's minority Arab Israeli community favor entering into a coalition in the next government. And uh, in a poll conducted by the, the independent poll, it was also revealed that we can expect greater voter turnout for these upcoming elections. In fact, voter turnout amongst Arab uh, Israelis is predicted to be at about 73.1%. And um, uh, uh, a lot of this, the attribute to the uh, nation state law that uh, has caused quite a lot of controversy uh, in Israel uh, because um, many feel, especially minority communities, that the law reduces the Arabic language and uh, members of the Arabic community to second class status. Interestingly enough, Kachol uh, Velavan, or Blue and White leader Benny Gantz, has promised that if elected Prime Minister, uh, he will do uh, his utmost to change the language in the nation state law so that while it does recognize the uh, the uh, Israel as the nation state of the Jewish people, it also gives equal status to minority communities. And the final story today is that uh, in a report by Israel Hayom newspaper, which is one of our mega dailies here, uh, it has been reported that Egypt proposed uh, uh, to the Hamas-led uh, Gaza Strip that if the Gaza Strip demilitarizes, uh, Israel will lift its air, land and sea blockade off the Gaza Strip. Now, uh, Israeli and, and uh, Egypt officials have looked at the agreement or have looked at the proposal and have estimated that this could take up to five years and is certainly doable. Uh, Hamas being Hamas have absolutely refused. They refuse to demilitarize at all. Uh, so these are the top stories making headlines today. And don't forget, you can check out our great online content at www.layoftheland.online. And if you missed some of our articles featured this week, simply check us out online. You can read all about the extraordinary organization that is Zaka, one of Israel's search and rescue um, organizations. You can also read the extremely moving tribute to a phenomenal man, Moses Moyer, written by Kathy Kaler and read all about major Israeli acquisitions written by Dave Kaplan. Also, don't forget, you can join our ever-growing Facebook community at Lottel Sat. We are growing daily. Don't forget, you too can be a part of it. And if you want to receive your daily edition of the Israel Brief, simply click on the subscribe button below. It is still Purim today, so I wish uh, those who are celebrating Chag Purim Sameach and uh, Shabbat Shalom to everybody who will be celebrating Shabbat this weekend. I'm Raleigh Marks, this is the Israel Brief, and we'll chat again next week.